Apple made Siri deflect questions on feminism. Hashtag me too. The Guardian on internal Apple project advised developers to rewrite Siri's responses to deflect questions on feminism and the hashtag me too movement. Leaked documents seen by The Guardian revealed Siri should be guarded when dealing with potentially controversial content, Apple stated as the reason behind the move. I'd blush if I could. Siri earlier allegedly responded to being told it was a SL asterisk T. Alibaba buys Chinese gaming giant NetEaser's e-com unit for $2 bn Chinese e-commerce giant Alibaba has acquired Chinese gaming giant NetEase's luxury goods import e-commerce platform Kaola for about $2 billion. The import platform will be integrated with Alibaba's Tmall, leading to the creation of the largest cross-border e-commerce platform in China. NetASA was reportedly in talks to merge Kaola with Amazon China. Earlier this year, Facebook launches dating feature in 20 countries Facebook on Thursday launched Facebook dating feature to help users find partners through things they have in common, like interests, events and groups. In 20 countries excluding India, users aged 18 years or older will be able to create a dating profile separate from their main profile. They'll be suggested other users who opted for dating and have common interests. Delhi Airport starts three-month trial of face recognition and tree system Delhi's Indira Gandhi. International Airport on Friday started a three-month trial of facial recognition and tree system for domestic passengers of Vistara Airline at Terminal 3, a Delhi International Airport Limited. Dial spokesperson said that the participation in the trials is purely voluntary. A suitable consent form will be signed by passengers, the spokesperson added. Bug found on Samsung. Huawei phones lets emails be stolen via SMS cybersecurity researchers discovered a vulnerability. In Samsung, Huawei Sony and LG devices that could let hackers use custom SMS to intercept all email traffic on target devices. The attacks require different methods depending on the phone and available information. Checkpoint researchers said they claimed that among the four manufacturers, devices from Samsung were the easiest to be attacked.